Yo, what's up, peeps? Coming at you guys with another Hearthstone video. Like always, we're gonna start this uh, episode off with a pack opening. Come on, let's get some good, some good, some good. Ah! Actually, I can actually use this for my mage. That's good. Two stickers for mage. One spell for mage. I have a, I have another one of these, so I can't make a beast hunter. I really have no use for him. <laughs> but not bad, not good. Not bad, not good. So I apologize that I haven't been uploading for like the past two, three days. I've been very busy, so I haven't really been able to record and upload. But let's not mind that. I'm coming at you guys today with another good video. Um, today I'm choosing to play Paladin because I just got my Paladin to level 10 and I've been wanting to make a new deck. You know what? Um, you know what? Let's, let's make a new deck. Let's make a new deck. I want to make a new deck. So we're going to make a new deck for Paladins and you're going to, you're going to have an insight of what I do during my um, during my deck making um my deck making let's call it a sequence deck making sequence but I like to I like to have my buffs so I am gonna put in blessing of king blessing of might uh, um lights of justice have been coming very handy for been coming in very handy but I will t I will take True Silver Champion. Um, I've been using the Hand of Protection a lot, but I want to go for a more not Hands of Protection. Um, Hammer of Wrath, Consecrate, Guardian of Kings. Hmm. Do I want Guardian of Kings? Hold up. You know what? We're gonna choose. We're gonna take Guardian of Kings. Okay, now minions. This is where I get into the nitty gritty and look for combos I can really do. I like to have early game control, so I usually put in minions such as the Leaper Gnome, the Elf Archer, maybe the maybe the Stone Tux Boar. But I'm not gonna go with the Stone Tux Boar. I'm actually gonna go with the Abusive Sergeant just to get that early buff on the board. If I do draw him. For two drops, I usually take the Acidic Swamp Boost for more control over a Rogue or a Warrior or something. Um, I don't know about the Knife Juggler. No, actually, this is a Paladin that I will take the Knife Juggler with me. Hmm. So I guess that's it. I don't, I, I don't know if I need a Silence, but if anything, we will modify it afterwards. I like to take some good, some good, um, some good taking monsters at the beginning. So I usually take the River Crocolus with that three health and two attack. Um, for the Knife Juggler, I run. I do run the Murloc Tide Hunter. The Novice Engineer is really good. Mm. Very low cost, you guys. Very low cost. But I am gonna run a Sunstone Cleric and take out. Oh, I am gonna take out. No, let's take out Abusive Sergeant and take out Hand of Protection. Just to get a chill one yeti, because I really love the chill one yeti. And uh, let's take um, let's get. It won't hurt. Let's say, let's take lights of justice, because I know there's a spell. I get lights of justice and three. And three um other paladin minions, and we're gonna name this Pally um revamp Reve eight revamp. <laughs> so we made a new deck, and I am gonna come at you guys with a match right now. Okay, peeps. So I'm here with the match. I have. We are playing a warlock, and my starting hand is the Chilwin Yeti, the Blessing of Kings, Consecration, and Novice Engineer. Um, 
I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of consecration, and I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get my river crocklers. That's that's good. I get two cost minion that I am gonna play at the beginning. He's gonna play his taunt, so I can I can go river crocklers. He is going to use his hero power to draw a card. I am also going to draw a card. Put some damage on that taunt. I am going to draw the knife juggler. That's really good right now. But I am going to play on my turn 4. I am going to buff my Croculus. And trade my novice engineer next turn. Nice. I got my knife juggler and my murloc tide hunter. So that's a really good start to this match. He's drawing a lot of cards at the beginning, which isn't a big thing to worry about, but in the long term, it really is a big thing to worry about. So he's a very draw heavy warlock. <laughs> let's play that and let's play a tight hunt too. He I, I'm guessing he's looking to play the uh the Hellfire. But we will be ready for that. We'll be ready for that. So next I am I'm gonna try to get him off the board as quick as I can. We're gonna play Blessing of King and just wipe him. Let's shut up my chill one first. I see the Hellfire coming. So we are gonna play the chill one actually. Okay, he is gonna draw a card. He still has a chance to that's probably what he was looking for. Mountain Golem. This is what we are gonna play. And we are gonna trade everything, actually, just to get this 8 8 off the board. We're gonna play the elf and we're going to attack with the knife juggler I actually didn't play ranks this game cuz I misclicked but I am still gonna this is still gonna go up and I will do a ranks match after this this is probably why I'm actually doing really good against this warlock because it is a casual game so it has no no effect on my rank. But we are gonna play a ranks game after this. He has a lot. Eight eight. He's probably gonna turn this thing into a turn. Nope, he is gonna t deal two damage. But I do win next turn. If he doesn't kill another one of my Okay, I do win next turn. So good game. I got two blessings of king. That is big. So we are gonna blessing of kings. I'm just gonna play that and we win. He does concede. Good game to him. And the next match, which is gonna be a ranks match, is coming to you guys right now. Okay, Pete's back with another match, which is gonna be ranks. We have a rank 18 a guy named Maximus, but we are gonna have a very, very high cost starting can. Which isn't a big problem, but I am going to get rid of Guardian um, of Kings. I'm going to keep my Novice Engineer. We are going to draw the Sun Cleric. I have Consecration if the Road chooses to play a lot of minions. And I do have Hammer of Wrath just to get that extra spell control. So yeah. Let's see what we... Let's see what damage we can do to this Rogue. Okay, we get Lights Justice, so we are gonna play that first game. First, first game. Duh. First turn. Imagine one each turn was a game. Okay, he is gonna play Mech Warper. I am 
gonna play my novice. So this may be a mech mage. I mean mech mage. This may be a mech rogue. Two girls of the game. Mage and rogue. But we are gonna keep alert over some big minions. So Okay, he does get a spider tank on the board. Hmm. Okay, I gotta think. Okay. Okay, leaving Spider Tank on the field. We're gonna see what the rogue plays next. I did play my Swampoos. I was gonna wait until she puts up a weapon, which is now. But I really needed a minion on the board at the time. So I am gonna kill the Spider Tank this turn. Actually, I can. Okay, and go face. Okay, we have control over the board. If she chooses to buff her weapon, I do. I just drew another Swampu, so I am not that scared of her buffing her weapon. But I am gonna play True Silver Champion just to get that extra health. Okay, she is gonna play. She's gonna play another weapon. Do some more damage to my face. Uh, mm -hmm. I am gonna destroy it. And I will play Sun Cleric and buff this Swamp Ooze. Just to give him some more survivability. Just to keep a minion on the board. I do have a Consecration. I am gonna save that. Okay. I'm gonna put up my weapon. I'll draw a card. I'm gonna pull up the elf. Elf would have been really good. Oh wait, elf is really good in this case. Just clearing the board. I'm gonna attack that and I am gonna go face. So she can use her knife throwing spell, which deals one damage to all minions. My Swampoos is going to stay on the board if she does play it. And I will play my chill one next turn, hoping to draw a Blessing of Kings. She is going to put up another weapon. And she is going to play her Swampoos. And she's going to take out my Swampoos. Okay. That was a good, really good trade on her part. But I am gonna still play my chill win. I am gonna go. I am gonna trade into that swamp ooze. And I'm gonna play my crocolis. And I'm gonna go face with the sun cleric. I just want to see what she plays. Um, she can take out my Yeti, but I don't think she wants to take the damage. Well, she is going to take the damage. She has eight manas. Destroy your weapon. Okay, that was a good play, actually. Okay. I am down this game, but I am going to draw a card. Hopefully, Knife Juggler. I'm gonna get the elf. I'm gonna play deeper gnome, and I'm gonna play um, one of my silver my silver hand recruits. If I can get my knife juggler, I can have a lot of control over the board. She is gonna draw four cards for a cost of seven mana. She may play her weapon. She 
does play a Noiltron. Okay, so I am gonna play another weapon. I'm gonna play my elf just to get that divine shell off the Noiltron. I will trade my Leaper Gnome and I'm gonna go face with my weapon and my Silver Hand Recruit and I'm gonna summon another Silver Hand Recruit. And I am gonna pass the turn actually. Okay, let's see what she plays. Okay, she is gonna play backstab. Summon another spider tank. No taunts, no taunts. She's gonna use her hero power to get a hold of a weapon. Have to, we both have 13 cards in our hand, in our deck. Okay, see what she plays. Is she gonna buff? Oh no, she is gonna silence the elf. I'm guessing she did that just to get a minion on the board. She's gonna trade. I am gonna take out that spider tank. I am gonna trade my elf. And oh wait, what am I doing? I can't concentrate. I'll leave him with two health. What do I want to do? Give me a plus three attack. And I'm gonna save the consecration. I'm gonna go face. I'm gonna trade that. I do want to say this to where when I have my knife juggler, I will be fine. But I don't like that she has more mean. Alright, play the Consecration. That might have been a bad play, but just to keep minions off the board, I hate when the other person has minions on the side of the board. I'm a very control player. Okay. She does take out my Silver Hand Recruit. She's gonna play Pilot Shredder. Hopefully I can get another weapon in my hand. That was my last true silver actually. She's gonna put up another hero power weapon. She's gonna give a minion and her weapon plus three attack. This isn't looking good, but I do have my guardian of king, so I am gonna restore six health. That was a really good draw. And I'm gonna play a Silver Hand Recruit. If she does go face, I will be down to 9 health. She is gonna give me 2 cards. I do get the Knife Juggler now. I do have a big chance of winning. Oh, okay, this is a really good match. Okay, she's gonna buff it. Okay, that's 13. I'm gonna be down to 7 health. Thirteen. Oh. oh! Okay. That was a really close, but I think I win this turn. Okay, peeps. Sorry, my recording failed. And that really does suck but the rogue will wind it up conceding because she couldn't get a spell out she was too low on mana but i did take the victory this paladin really good i can make some can make some changes to it but i really do like this paladin very fun if i can get the right draws and if people really really want to try this very low cost paladin it's not the best deck though but for beginners, it's pretty good. If you get your Paladin to level 10, this is a pretty good deck. So it is Light's Justice, Blessing of King. I mean, Blessing of Might, I'm sorry. Blessing of Might. Um, Elven Archer, Leaper Gnome, Acidic Swampoos, Knife Juggler, Murloc Tide Hunter, Novice Engineer, 
River Crocolis, um, Sun Cleric, True Silver Champion, Blessing of Kings, Consecration, Hammer of Wrath, Chilwin Yeti, and Guardian of Kings. So today, that's going to be all peeps. Uh, if you enjoy, like and subscribe. And see you later, peeps. Музыка. Музыка. Это жизнь. Yeah, 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 yeah.